Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Cardano and its native token, ADA. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and go stake your ADA with the ITC stake pools. If you don't know how to do so, there will be a link down in the description below with a video tutorial on how to stake your ADA. Now, before we jump in, as you guys know, if you were staking your ADA with the Into the Cryptoverse stake pools, and some other stake pools as well, you would have been eligible for the Sunday Swap ISO. I imagine most people have already claimed it by this point, but if you have not, there is a, I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. You are essentially just going to go over to dripdrops.io. You will enter in your wallet or stake address. So you'll, you'll, you'll enter in the address that you were using to you know when you were staking your ADA with the into the cryptoverse stake pool or again another stake pool that was eligible you would click on check my drops you'll basically just follow the instructions on the screen at some point it will it will ask you to to copy a wallet address you need to copy it and if you want to be able to withdraw the sunday swap tokens you will have to in fact send uh i believe three ADA to that address so uh, this is just how it works. If you if you want to go claim it, you need to go to dripdrops.io. Again, follow the instructions on the screen. Once you check your drops, it'll it'll show you how many Sunday Swap tokens you're eligible to receive. You follow the instructions. It'll say then um, copy the address. You'll need to send three ADA to that address, and then you will be able to to receive those Sunday Swap tokens. But let's go ahead and jump into the charts. Um, you know, ADA is is still sitting just shy of a dollar. Not really a whole lot has happened since the last ADA video. The last time we made a video on ADA was, I believe we were sitting around 90 cents or so. And one of the things I mentioned back then was that just because we had not gone below, you know, the, the 90 cent threshold for quite a long period of time, really not since February of 2021, was that it does not mean that we cannot go below it if Bitcoin remains below its bull market support pin. And we can see that that more or less transpired, right? I mean, ADA broke through the, the prior support that it held once upon a time. And, and this is one of those things that I, I've mentioned a few times with altcoins in general, is that support lines aren't as important when Bitcoin is below the bull market support band. What's more important are, are sort of the resistance levels that would keep Bitcoin from getting back to a, a more bullish stance. So for instance, in this case, the, the bull market support band for Bitcoin is now ranging from 42.6K to 43 point, or sorry, 43.6K to 45.3K. So there's a, you know, there's certainly a range where Bitcoin would like to get back above, arguably until we're back at 46K and holding that level of support there, you know, there, the, the market does sort of remain uh, with a, a hint of bearishness to it, just because so far, a lot of these pumps have been sold off. So, you know, looking at, at ADA's bull market support band, if you're curious, which by the way, it has somewhat respected it in the past. Like you can see, we, we held it as support here. We were sort of in that band right over here. We held it as support here as well. We had a wick down to it right there. And then we were sort of in that range again over here, again, holding it as support for a little while right there as well, back in November of 2021. If you're curious what this range is now, it's currently about 121 to 122. The reason, the reason why I think that's interesting is because ADA has actually spent a lot of its time at around 120 over the last year. I mean, right now we're obviously below it, but if you sort of, if you just go draw a line at the 120, $1.20 threshold, you'll see we've really spent a large amount of time in that area, whether it held as resistance once upon a time, whether it held as support, whether it held as support again here. So if we come up to that level, the 120 threshold, I think that's going to be a, a fairly big test for ADA, but it's certainly not a test that I think it has to battle itself. Clearly, it's going to be dependent on, on whether Bitcoin is successful in breaking its own bull market support ban. So if Bitcoin is successful here in breaking through, then the argument would be that there's a good chance that ADA would also likely be successful in breaking through. However, if Bitcoin is you know, brutally rejected from its bull market support band at around 45 to 46K, then the general expectation that I would have would be that there's a good chance that ADA would see some reject resistance here and rejection off of its own 
bull market support band. So remember, when when we are at this phase of the market, we are fighting an uphill battle. Eventually, we'll have the courage to, to break through it. But this is, in fact, the line in the sand. Now, one of the things that we like to do on this channel is not only discuss the implications of the US devaluation, but also against Bitcoin and Ethereum. One of the things I've mentioned many times is that altcoins don't really do that well with respect to their Bitcoin valuation when Bitcoin is below its bull market support band. Bitcoin has been below it since November 20, the week of November 29th. And if you go look at the ADA Bitcoin valuation since November 29th, I mean, it hasn't really done anything that spectacular. It was already below its own bull market support band. And since then, it came down, went up to its bull market support band, got rejected off of it, and then back down. So perhaps we're going up for another test of it, you know, at around, let's call it 2,500, 2,600 Satoshis. Okay, so perhaps we're going to get a retest of it. But this, in fact, would be the line in the sand for ADA Bitcoin to break. Now, I think in order for us to break it, you don't necessarily need to see Bitcoin get above its bull market support band to see ADA Bitcoin break it. I mean, we, we've certainly seen it break it before, even, even when the market hasn't been... Um, you know, exceptionally bullish. But this is sort of the, the line in the sand that we would like to see broken for the ADA Bitcoin valuation. And do know that this this area that we're, we're sort of bouncing off of, if we if we draw a line in the sand going all the way across, it has been a, a level that ADA, ADA's valuation against Bitcoin has respected in the past, right? This level right here, we respected it right here before ultimately the bull market support band squeezed us between the support level and then we broke down. We also had it held hold as resistance right here. This is around that 2000 Satoshi mark. Um, and then again as support later on. And then again as support here. So this isn't, you know, uh, if we are going to see a bounce, and I understand that we've bounced about 2% today, but if we're actually going to see a substantial bounce where the ADA Bitcoin valuation, you know, takes us back up to the bull marks we're you're talking about a 30% bounce from the lows or from the current price, another another 17 percent move just to get back up to that bull market support band so i do think this is you know a, an important level to watch because again we've seen bounces off of this level in the past what is interesting is you can see that once upon a time if we if we go look at where we were we bounced off of this level right here back in Ju 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 uh, july of 2018 we went up to the bull market support band we, we got rejected by it if, if we do the same thing here, I mean, this is this is something we need to keep an eye out on, okay? If we rally to this point and Bitcoin is starting to show any sign of weakness, then we have to understand that ADA would also likely show weakness, not only against the USD valuation, but also against the Bitcoin valuation. So this is the uphill, va the, this is the uphill battle that we face. There are no guarantees. I mean, we, we certainly could break above it and, and tell a different story, but I, I do think it's worth pointing out we have seen this happen before, and then eventually, once we got rejected off of it, we ended up going down to put in a new local low. So I want people to be aware of this level for the ADA Bitcoin valuation, approximately 20, let's call it, yeah, I mean, around 2,600 Satoshis, maybe right around 2,600 Satoshis. Right now, we're at 2,284. If you want to see, if you want to really see us, um, you know, really look strong and not just pretend to we actually need to get back above this level okay you can see that you know during the during this major bull market over here that ada had it stayed above its bull market support band and even held support on it in august of 2021 before going back up to a new high that we saw this is one of those things that we sort of mapped out from from even way over here was that eventually we would hope to see the ada bitcoin valuation come back up to its prior high against bitcoin it has done that but now we're at a fairly crucial test. Are we going to get back above this level and, and make another move up this way? Or is it going to get rejected and, and send us back down this way? Do note that if we come back down this way, I think it would set up a, a pretty big accumulation range on ADA. If we come back up, we're going to need to see if we can hold it as support, right? We want to see if we can hold these levels as support. And that'll be interesting to watch for based on what Bitcoin is in fact doing. And then finally, if we go over to the ADA Ether valuation, this has also been a level that we've historically bounced off of in the past. And it's a level that's held resistance in the past as well when coming from, from the other side, like from coming from underneath up to the resistance level. You can see this has been an important level to watch. But when we're above it, the the this this threshold, which is around 2840 or so, 
2860. This is also, this is against the ETH evaluation. This has been a support level as well. So that's where we are right now. If we are to go back up to these areas that we've had prior local tops before, you would you would likely need to see um, you would likely need to see Bitcoin stay healthy. But furthermore, to give you an idea of what that would look like from the local low, it would represent a 77% surge against Ether. Okay, so it would mean ADA would outperform Ether in, in to the tune of 77% if we're actually going to see a move back up to the prior local top. One of the things I talk about before with altcoins is that at worst, you want an oscillator. Okay, and what is an oscillator? It means that it oscillates against Ethereum. I think ADA is a great example of an oscillator. It's not in an uptrend against Ethereum. It's not in a macro downtrend against Ethereum. It just oscillates. Sometimes it does well, sometimes it doesn't. And, and this is something we've, we've watched for years on this channel. We, even when we followed ADA back over here in 2019, you know, we were talking about it being an oscillator and ultimately coming back up. And it's done that. And now we're just finding ourselves in this precarious position again. If it comes down here eventually, that should likely represent a pretty attractive accumulation range. If we come up here, we're going to have to see if we can break through and come back up to the top. I mean, you know, regardless, you know the risks involved. It's important to understand the valuation of these cryptocurrencies, not against the U.S. dollar per se, because that's somewhat easy. But to actually look at them and say, well, how do they hold up against Bitcoin? How do they hold up against Ether? And, and you want to be critical of them and say, OK, well, can they at least oscillate against the blue chips? And at least ADA can. I mean, it's been oscillating against the blue chips for a long time. And one of the nice things about these oscillations is that they can lead to fairly attractive gains. I mean, you know, with, with Bitcoin, if you had accumulated ADA in at March of 2020, when, when Bitcoin capitulated, which we talked about on the channel, right? ADA, not only did ADA go up against the US dollar, but it went up against Bitcoin 1,400%. Even today, even today, I mean, I understand ADA has been in a downtrend for quite a while, but even today, ADA Bitcoin is up 432% from the March 2020 bottom. Now, arguably, we are unfairly punishing Bitcoin because Bitcoin did not crash quite as hard as ADA did in March of 2020, but it does go to show how, how attractive altcoin gains can be if you are able to accumulate them during capitulation phases and then hold them for, for a few years. They can typically outperform Bitcoin uh, fairly well. It's just that in the short term and in bear markets, they often don't. So this is, you know, this, hopefully this has provided a, a, a decent update on, on ADA. You can see the bull market support band is currently coming in at around the $120, the $1.20 threshold. We know this is an important level. That's what we want to watch. You'd like to see ADA go above that level and then ultimately hold it as support. Remember to stake your ADA with the ITC stake pool if you've not done so already. There'll be a link on that on how to do that in the description below and go claim your Sunday swap rewards at dripdrops.io. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. Just follow the instructions on the screen. But basically all you're going to do is you're going to enter your address in. You're going to agree to some, you know, their, their conditions and whatnot. And it'll show you how much how much ADA or how much Sunday swap tokens you're eligible to receive. You then need to copy the address that they send you. You'll send three ADA, I believe. That's what it was the last time I did it. You'll send three ADA to an address and then you'll be able to to pull out the the Sunday swap, the Sunday swap token. So Go check it out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.